What were your first impressions of me, Corey? What were my first impressions of you? Yeah. They were clouded oh. by my first impressions of the other man who could have played Here we go. George, Here who we was go. Uh, having just read as George, and I thought, this is my, this is my day over. India Amartifio and Corey Moultriste star in the new Netflix spin-off Queen Charlotte of Bridgerton Story, where we see young Charlotte handle the new crown of becoming queen, alongside Corey Moultriste, and he becomes king, and we get to see this love story evolve between the two of them. Dearest gentle readers! No, 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 no! You can't, you've done it. Give it back. 15? No. Can I go again? 18. 18. Yes. No, 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 we were, no, 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 I respected the game. What do you mean you respected the game? You took my buzzer! And although they have this great chemistry on screen, they also have it off screen as well. So let's go ahead and catch these two flirting off camera. Which of your castmates smells the nicest? Do you know who smells the nicest, I think? Yeah, I think I might know her. <laughs> but before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What was India Armatifio's first role? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I was surprised that you could move. Because you said I can't dance, but you can. You no, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. It's go, India. Can. It's India. India was a professional dancer. I was. Think that, that, was. And I've that's said what I that said. before. No, but I've said it before. But people would know that I could dance, but you're most likely to actually know, actually, I've, you, I've, you I've realized, ruined this, haven't yeah, I? I've yeah. ruined this. With the amount of energy they bring on set, they can be seen bringing the same energy to interviewers who they are also able to make laugh. It's with Tracy <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay. So you didn't have to mention no, I, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, you sorry, that sorry. In. We've just gone. What were your first impressions of each other when you first met? Oh, he just walked out with India and I thought, well, that's my bit, then, you know, there's no point in me going in. But then I knew that you were the one. There have been talks about the few scenes that shall not be talked about, but have been brought up, and even though it may be an uncomfortable topic to some, it's just what happened in the series, and even they still managed to comfortably talk about it. We go way back. We go way back. back. Yeah. Way? way back. Like nappies, diapers. Yeah, womb to tomb. That's what? what that's what we always say. No, we no, didn't. Not no, at all. no, we had, oh. we, had, we had no idea. Uh, I like remember I was existed. so, yeah, I was very nervous when I first met you. Uh, Who wouldn't be? Not Interestingly enough, the rest of the cast has revealed that these two has had some amazing chemistry off camera. From the moment the two met in episode one, they are instantly attracted to each other and grow more flirtatious with each attraction according to some sources. Oh, you're being Get the hell out of my house. This is not your house anymore. Yeah, well, you made damn sure of that, didn't you, sweetheart? Oh, that film, man. The Woo! twist. I cry, I laugh, I get naked. Oh, oh my god. My gosh. The lights go on and off. Please ignore him. The Nerf guns come out. Everything Jesus happens. Christ. That is just the best. And playing a couple on screen just makes it all the more real when we see these two on screen. Well, Therese and Armatifio actually auditioned for the show together and caught the attention of the creators. Pickup liners works or would work on you. What's the most hilarious one you have heard? No one wants to pick me up, so. I have do none. Do your voice, do your voice. My voice? Yeah. What voice? I don't know what you're talking about. I love it. I don't know how to answer this. Very clever. Yeah. You see that? That's expert deflection. I had done a chemistry read with someone else prior, Armatifio recalled. I could do this scene with them and it was great, but then I stepped into the room with Corey and it was almost kind of instantaneous. So I guess you could call it love at first sight. But no. Yeah. We're very professional, all of us. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I was trying to be nice then. <laughs> hang now, on, <laughs> hang on. Now I'm gonna be rude. Um, it is most likely to be you, but yeah. I, you still oh, wouldn't okay. do it, I don't. During all these interviews when chemistry is brought up, it is so obvious that there couldn't be any more and there couldn't be a better pair. Maltrese to even talk about the chemistry he has with her. It, we worked well before we knew anything about each other. And then like, you know, it, I don't think it's necessary, but like being friends, it, it helps. Um, it's exposing to be around that. And you're doing that with each other like, for hours a day, you know, so like you, you form a bit of a bond, a bond, sorry, like, and you, and you trust each other, which was, which was great. At one point, they even rate their chemistry. Like a minus five, maybe, even lower, like really, he's off. Um, I think they have great chemistry, George and Charlotte, you know, there's something that... Nice. Thanks. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. I think it is between you two, actually. 
and I actually might say it, Corey might be better than you. <gasps> oh, oh no! Didn't see that coming? Wow! Oh. <laughs> I don't know how this is helpful. What are you doing? Why are you dumbing? How do you do it? I'm trying to help you. Happen. These two play the young versions of the hearts that have been married for a while now, and fans were left teary-eyed over the scenes that were shown, and the stars have compared their on-screen love story to Romeo and Juliet for obvious reasons. To be fair, to be fair, understood. I take it. Good. But yeah. I I did the self tape. I was going to be five minutes late, so but I went to the wrong place. I went to the wrong place. You, you never said that. No, no, I no, did. no, you never no, said I that. Did, I did. Get I'm... that finger out my face because you never <laughs> said that. <laughs> Though Armatifio and Maltrist seem perfectly matched in the show, their careers up to this point have been entirely different. But even so, they managed to come together for these roles. I just feel very lucky that Corey is who he is. I think everyone should have an hour for lunch. Whether an or not owl. you want to eat an owl? No, no, an hour. An, an hour. hour. An hour. <laughs> so I thought I heard <laughs> owl as well. I'm very vegetarian. Oh. That would be horrendous. Um, not an owl. An hour. This was such a mammoth job to take on, but it was a shared responsibility between the two of us. I'm aware of how lucky I am that I was paired with Corey because not only is he a fantastic actor, but this dedication to the work made me want to work harder. India once said. Oh no. <laughs> um. I would, I would, I would put money towards the the wing thing just to make him happy. Aww. Really? Yeah. So your kingdom is also in on the wing thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have seen numerous times of all the games that they like to play, including knowing me, knowing you. We went for dinner with Freddie and Sam the other day, and you were like, "Oh, I love a shepherd's pie." My mum makes really good mash. I swear that was you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Was that not you? No. Do we not mention that at no. all? No. No, I'm not going crazy. We definitely said That's something about That's mental. Has she ever made Shepard's pie? No. Oh my god. And even though we love the chemistry between these two off screen during interviews, Maltrist has revealed recently that he does have a girlfriend off set that he is very private about. We wouldn't have known if he never said anything. We probably would have assumed that he and Armatifio was already a couple. The Magus insists. Oh. The Magus insists, does he? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, the... I read a load of books, you read a load of books, did some research and... Those books, man. Yeah. What's fish and chips. Me? What, the fish and chips? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Everyone just has to pay me. Everyone has to pay me. Yeah. Nonetheless, we can always enjoy when they play funny games and sometimes can't seem to stop laughing. I got good advice from Golda. I got good advice from Michelle. From Corey. All the, all the, all the greats. Don't remember that. Um, yeah, you're right. Who else did I get good advice from? Even from Sam. From, and, and yeah, and Corey again. Freddie, was there. Asema, there. And Corey. Who am I missing? I think that's everyone. Yeah, mainly Corey. Even though this is a mini series with a limiting of six episodes, the original series, the Netflix series Bridgerton, has announced that they are planning a season three and have already released a teaser trailer. You look pretty. It's making me want to kiss. No, that's no, this is going mouth. really oh, sorry, bad. I, I can't. <laughs> See, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a finishing touch right there. Oh, yeah. I actually don't even have hair and makeup after this. So That's this okay. For all of my interviews. Oh, do you really look uh, good? You can't yeah. even see, can you? Oh, wait, do we have a mirror we could show him? Uh, That's you. <laughs> <laughs> In May 2022, Netflix confirmed that Colin Bridgerton and Penelope Featherington would be the focus of season three. Aside from this prequel in one interview, they even talk about another Bridgerton spinoff. Oh, yeah. So, did you like, go to the gym a little extra? Did you do anything extra? Eat your fish and salad or what? No, I don't, I don't, go, to, I don't go to the gym. I don't, I don't go to the gym. This guy, um, middle name better be Jim, because he was there all the time. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, it was in the year 2013 that India portrayed Florence in a television film, Gangsta Granny, a British comedy drama based on the children's book of the same name. I said, we're gonna go for a walk, and I went outside five minutes later, <laughs> on the floor, passed out, and it's so funny. Oh my God, so yeah, Corey, and in the car, you can see from the car as well, and we're like, oh, sorry, <laughs> in my head, it's Corey. Corey will fall asleep anywhere. So what do you guys think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite? And what do you think of the chemistry between these two? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. You, you. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, um, I think get on as people. A swoon. Yes. Bonus point for if anyone does a demonstration. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh nice. Oh.
That is a swoon.